हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू इंडियन जुडिशल सर्विस टूडेज वी आर डीलिंग हेयर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी वन टू थ्री हंड्रेड एटी दिस इज द पार्ट ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ टॉप फोर हंड्रेड एम सी क्यू ऑफ कोड ऑफ क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर इफ इफ एनी बडी इज नॉट वॉचिंग द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज ऑल द लिंक्स ऑफ वीडियोज आर एवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल नाउ कम टू द पॉइंट हेयर क्वेश्चन नंबर 361. The irregularity which do not vitiate. So here irregularity which do not vitiate. The proceeding have been stated in. So option A here 460 of CRPC. Option B here section 461 of CRPC. Option C here 462 of CRPC and option D here 486 of CRPC. So it is clear here. the irregularity which do not vitiate the proceeding of the court is available in 460 of crpc now we are discuss here which things is provided in for these given sections so 460 provided that the irregularity so irregularity which do not do not vitiate the proceeding vitiate the proceeding proceeding now section 461 same thing is there but it is oppositely completely in section 461 the irregularity which vitiate the proceeding so section 400 deal with irregularity which do which vitiate vitiate the proceeding now another section here 462 this section is provided that the proceeding in wrong place proceeding in wrong place now final section is here 486 this section the no section is available in 486 because the maximum section of crpc is here 484 and 37 chapters here so there is a impossibility of the section 486 so in this question answer is here option a 400 460 of cr question number 362 the amount of fine which can be imposed by a magistrate of first class has been enhanced by a criminal procedure amendment act 2005 from rupees 5000 to so it is clear here the amount of first fine given by the first class magistrate is enhanced to 10000 rupees according to criminal amendment act 2005 so it is answer is here option c 10000 rupees now question number 263 the amount of fine which can be imposed by magistrate of second class has been enhanced by criminal procedure amendment act 2005 from 1000 rupees to so it is enhanced 1000 rupees to 5000 rupees so 1000 to 5000 the fine given by the magistrate of second class now question number 364 which of the following statement is true a woman can never be arrested after sunset before a sun rise under the provision of crpc the woman can be arrested after can be arrested after sunset and before sunrise only under exceptional circumstance option c here the woman can be arrested after sunset so here can be after sunset and before a sunrise only under the exceptional circumstance with the prior permission of judicial magistrate this is very important but prior prior permission of judicial magistrate of first class 
विद इन हूज जुडिक्शन ऑफ द ऑफेंस इज कमिटेड और द अरेस्ट इज टू बी मेड एंड ऑप्शन डी हेयर नन ऑफ दी अब सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन आंसर इज हेयर ऑप्शन सी अकॉर्डिंग टू सेक्शन फोर्टी सिक्स सब सेक्शन थ्री ऑफ सी आर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फाइव द एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ एक्यूज ऑफ रेप बाय मेडिकल प्रैक्टिशनर एज इंसर्टेड बाय अ क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर एक्ट टू थाउजेंड फाइव हैज बीन प्रोवाइडेड अंडर ऑप्शन ए हेयर सेक्शन फिफ्टी ए ऑप्शन बी हेयर सेक्शन फिफ्टी थ्री ए ऑप्शन सी हेयर सेक्शन फिफ्टी फोर ए ऑप्शन डी हेयर सेक्शन फिफ्टी फोर so answer is here option b section 53 a so section 53 provided that the examination of accused of rape by medical practitioner so answer is here option b now question number 366 the section making it mandatory for the police officer making arrest to inform about the arrest and place so here arrest and place where the arrest per arrested person is being held to be a nominated person as inserted by criminal procedure amendment act 2005 is so here option a is section 50a option b is section 53a option c is section 54a and option d here section 53b now we are discuss here which thing is provided in section 50 A. So section section fifty A is provided that the obligation of police officer. So obligation of police officer to making a arrest to did person. So where there is a person arrested to inform. inform about the arrest so why he is arrest or she is arrest so it is the duty of police officer so under section 50 now section 53a section 53a is provided that the examination of accused of rape so it is examination of accused of rape or who take examination medical practitioner so here medical practitioner so medical practitioner take examination under section of rape accuse under section 53a now come to the section 54a 54a is provided that the identification of person arrested so it is identification of arrested person so the person arrested identification under section 54a so in this question answer is here option a the right duty of police officer to arrested person about the arrest and place where the arrested person being held and nominated person as inserted by crpc amendment act 2005 so it is provided in option a section 50a now question number 367 the section dealing with the medical examination of victim of rape as inserted by criminal procedure amendment act 2005 is so option a here 164 a option b here 166 a option c here 166 b and option d here 160 one sorry 153 a option d here 53 a so in this question Answer is here, option one fifty one sixty four a one sixty four a deal with the medical examination of rape victim. 
सो आंसर इज हियर ऑप्शन ए 164 ए ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट हियर क्वेश्चन नंबर 368 इन द केस ऑफ स्पेशल सम्मान इन केस ऑफ पिटी ऑफेंस वो पिटी ऑफेंस अंडर सेक्शन 206 तो 206 डील विद द पिटी ऑफेंस द अमाउंट ऑफ फाइन स्पेसिफाई ऑफ सच सम्मान इन द व्यू ऑफ अ क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर अमेंडमेंट एक्ट 2005 हैज बीन इनहेंस टू हंड्रेड रुपीज टू ऑप्शन सी हेयर वन थाउजेंड सो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ पिटी केसेस अकॉर्डिंग टू सेक्शन टू हंड्रेड सिक्स इज दैट द पिटी केसेज डील विद द द अमाउंट ऑफ बिलो हंड्रेड और हंड्रेड रुपीज इज नोन एज द पिटी केसेज पिटी ऑफेंस बट आफ्टर दिस अमेंडमेंट सच अमाउंट इज इंक्रीजिंग टू वन थाउजेंड रुपीज बिफोर इट वॉज हंड्रेड बट नाउ इट इज वन थाउजेंड सो ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट हेयर Now question number three hundred sixty nine. The plea of bargaining inserted by Criminal Law Amendment Act two thousand five that does not apply in the case of option A here, the offence affecting a socio economic condition of country, the offence committed against women, and option C here, offence against children, the age of below fourteen year, and option D all of the above. so answer is here all of the above the plea of bargaining inserted in criminal amendment act 2005 does not apply in following person first and following uh, conditions first the offense affecting the socio economic condition of a country and against women and against the children whose bil is below the 14 year so all these point here correct answer d here now question number 370 The judgment delivered by a court in case of plea of bargaining is, it is option A final, applicable, or appeal lie to be the high court option C here final and no appeal, except SLP special leave petition under section, sorry under article one hundred thirty six and writ petition under article two hundred twenty six and two hundred twenty seven lie and option D here. Appeal lies directly to a Supreme Court. No, it is completely wrong. So, in this question, answer is here option C. The judgment delivered by the court in court in cases of plea of bargaining, it is final judgment. But such judgment is appealable under section under Article one hundred thirty six is SLP special leave petition and writ petition under Article. 226 and 227 in high court so option c is correct now question number 371 the statement or fact stated by an accused in an application for plea of bargaining option a here can be used by the court any other case against the accused so here it is important here any other case option c b here can be used any other case against the accused only with the permission of court before which the application for plea of bargaining was made option c cannot be used for any other purposes except for the purpose of this chapter and option d here none of the above so in this question answer is here option c the plea the judgment under the plea of bargaining sorry the statement given by the accused under the plea of bargaining can not be used for any other purpose except the purpose of this chapter this thing is provided under section under section 265k the statement of accused in plea of bargaining it cannot be used except the provision of this chapter of plea of bargaining now question number 372 the power of magistrate to order other person power of magistrate to other person to give us specimen signature or handwriting has been inserted by criminal procedure amendment act 2005 
2005 under option a section 310 a option b section 311 a option c 312 a option d 313 a so in this question answer is here option b section 300 section 300 11a now question number 373 the witness or any other person may file a complaint in relation to an offence under section 195 ipc is provided under dash of crpc as inserted by the code of criminal procedure amendment act 2008 such amendment is effecting on 31st december 2009 so answer is here of under section 195 a but we take here option option a 195 a option b 196 a option c 197 a and option d 198 a so answer is here option 195 a this section is provided the assent uh, so uh, the witness of any other person on the file may file and complain in the relation of offence under section 195 of ipc is added in section 195 a so this section is come into the force in 31st december 2009 and ascended by the president on 7th january 7th january 2009 now question number 374 the every state government in coordination with the central government self formulate formulate the victim compensation scheme this is very important victim compensation scheme vcs for providing a fund for compensation to victim fall under section 357 a 357 a deal with the victim compensation scheme of crpc with effect from 31st december 2009 this section was inserted by option a code of criminal procedure amendment act 2008 code of criminal procedure amendment act 2005 code of criminal procedure act criminal procedure law 2006 code of criminal procedure amendment act 2001 so it is clear here option a it is added in code of criminal by code of criminal procedure amendment act 2008 Question number three hundred seventy-five. What is a true about criminal procedure code in respect of other of respect of offence by criminal other than the offence Indian Penal Code? So, in this question, the criminal criminal procedure code cannot be followed. Criminal procedure code. can be followed only against the offence under indian penal code criminal procedure code can be follow it is the uniform procedure law in criminal proceeding option d criminal law other than indian penal code have their own procedural application so this question is lead that the criminal procedure code is follow in other than crpc yes it is the other than ipc yes it is the uniform criminal procedure uh, it is follow in uh, ipc indian penal code or any other penal offence uh, code so answer is option c and this thing is provided the under section 4 of crpc section 4 deal with the trial of offence under ipc and other law so this other law means that other law means crpc also deal with other law including ipc 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री थ्री हंड्रेड सेवेंटी सिक्स द टर्म विक्टिम इज डिफाइन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन मेनी टाइम आस्क इन प्रीवियस एग्जाम इट इज क्लियर हियर दट विक्टिम इज डिफाइंड अंडर सेक्शन डब्ल्यू ए टू डब्ल्यू ए ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट हेयर नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड सेवेंटी सेवन एज सेक्शन ट्वेंटी सेवन एनी ऑफेंस अंडर सेक्शन टू हंड्रेड सेवेंटी सिक्स एंड सेक्शन थ्री हंड्रेड सेवेंटी सिक्स ए टू सेक्शन थ्री हंड्रेड सेवेंटी सिक्स डी आई पी सी सेल बी ट्राइड एज फार एज प्रैक्टिकल प्रैक्टिकेबल बाय अ कोर्ट प्रिसाइडेड ओवर बाय वुमेन जुडिशियल मजिस्ट्रेट ऑफ फर्स्ट क्लास जुडिशियल मजिस्ट्रेट चीफ जुडिशियल मजिस्ट्रेट और हाई कोर्ट सो दीज ऑफेंस आर रिलेटेड टू अ वुमेन और अ रेप केसेस एंड ऑफेंस अगेंस्ट द वुमेंस दैट्स वाई दीज केसेस आर प्रिसाइडिंग बाय द मजिस्ट्रेट ऑफ वुमेन द मजिस्ट्रेट शुड बी वुमेन देयर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड सेवेंटी एट Under the provision of Section one hundred ninety-eight, subsection six, where an offence under Section six hundred seventy-six, no, in IPC there are maximum section is five hundred eleven, so there is no possibility of six hundred seventy-six. The consist consist of sexual intercourse. Yes, this section is three hundred seventy-six by a man. With his own wife, so section three hundred seventy six provided that where a person who is with consent or without consent, the sexual intercourse of his own wife under the age of fifteen years, such a person is committing a rape. But the wife being under dash 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 year of age, no court shall take cognizance. So it is. the limitation to take a cognizance of offence more than 1 year has lapsed from the date of the commission of the offence so according to section 198 sub section 6 if the year of wife is 18 year so answer is here option a 13 year option b 15 year option c 16 year and option d 18 year so answer is here option a, d 18 year but in ipc this thing is 15 year but the, at the time of taking cognizance we concern 18 year now question number 379 the payment of compensation to a victim is provided under ऑप्शन ए 356, ऑप्शन बी सेक्शन 357, ऑप्शन सी 300 सेक्शन 57 ए ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दी अब सो आंसर इज हियर ऑप्शन सी 357 ए द 357 ए डील विद द विक्टिम कंपनसेशन स्कीम सो दिस सेक्शन इज प्रोवाइडेड दैट द विक्टिम कंपनसेशन स्कीम and this scheme is made up by the central government plus state government and these governments form a fund for victim now question number 380 final question of this video what is about the position of crpc when the former chief justice of india r so one question for all viewers Please tell the name of Chief Justice of India, current Chief Justice of India in comment box. Now, former Chief Justice of India are alleged as the corrupted after their retirement from the Supreme Court. Option A: The CRPC can be applied with the offence to be charged under IPC. Option B: CRPC can be applied with the offence to be a charge under a Prevention of Corruption Act, 1988. so prevention of corruption act is 9 in 1988 this is very important option c the crpc is silent about to be applied and option d crpc meant for non official only so this is completely wrong but answer of this question is option c 
द सी आर पी सी इज साइलेंट अबाउट टू बी अप्लाइड द प्रोविजन रिलेटेड टू द प्रोसीजर द अगेंस्ट द फॉर्मर चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया एंड हु इज अलेज इन करप्शन केस एंड द केस इज इंस्टीट्यूट आफ्टर द रिटायरमेंट ऑफ फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम कोर्ट देर इज नो प्रोविजन इन सी आर पी सी द सी आर पी सी इज साइलेंस अबाउट दिस प्रोविजन दैट्स वाई आंसर इज यर ऑप्शन सी थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज क्लिक ऑन लाइक बटन एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग